What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Jurassic Park Evolution. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and continue to expand our park. So I wanted to check on things. Our drink quality, oh it's actually at 71%. Okay, well apparently they can buy drinks right there, that was just like a delayed response or something. We've got a few more things, we've got Edmontosaurus over here which is great. And then we've got even more Edmontosaurus. Alright, in like one minute, once this gets done, we're going to go ahead and create our first Edmontosauri so that we can figure out if they're going to increase our park quality or not. As of right now, our reputation is not super good. Our dinosaur visibility is at zero, so I assume at some point we're going to have to go through. I love that rain effect. It looks great. It's not going to look great on your screen because YouTube does this thing called transcoding where it converts things around. And it takes the video and things like this and fog and grass and stuff like that. They just never seem to make it on YouTube. They just never seem it. So it's going to look like poo to you. But trust me, in-game it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'm enjoying the effect. We've got a ranger station right here. I don't know if I want a ranger station. So are there like predestined building spots? Like, do I not get to pick where I want things to go? Like, this is the question that Splatty has. Like, why does it want it right there? My thought was that what I would do is I would put it along the edge right here so that people could take pictures with the dinosaurs at the ranger station. So, build cost obstructed. Yeah, there's a lake right there. I can see that. I can see... Th oh, there we go. That'll work. Sure, why not? Do a ranger station. What could go wrong? We earned a little bit of money from our expeditions anyways, so... I know you've handled work like this in the past. So this yeah. contract should be right up your alley. So they want us to do a successful expedition to a dig site. Why not? Let's go ahead and do it. We got time to do that. I'm not really messing with anything right here. It's partially depleted. We'll keep working on Edmontosaurus, I suppose. Can I queue these up, or does it not matter? We can actually get more dig teams later on, it looks like. As far as island navigation goes, with Isla Matanceros... We're at almost two stars. I'm being positive. I'm rounding up, okay? I'm rounding up. You got to stick with me here. As far as the genome goes, we are done on that side. In the research front, there are new buildings that we can have. We've got a clothing shop. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the clothing shop. It's a little bit expensive, but I think it'll pay for itself. We just got to get it done. I haven't really locked in on this whole, like, how do we make money off this thing experience. Are they selling stuff right now? Like, is there any kind of readout or view right now where I can see, like, Tropico style? How much is... So the running cost is 7, and it's making 7 per minute. We've had 4 out of 240 guests. So it can fit 240? Okay, so it's like one of those gift shops. It's a pretty big gift shop. This place over here has 3 guests right there. I think we need to figure out a way to get more people out here. And more people checking out our stuff. Otherwise, we're going to struggle a bit. So at the ranger station, ranger teams can be dispatched to repair buildings and objects, resupply feeders, take photographs, and med medicate dinosaurs. Okay. I don't have any feeders or anything like that. Oh, cool. We can change the skin on their little buggies. That's pretty sweet. We can also give them reload speed, accuracy speed upgrades. It looks like there's going to be a fair bit of things we can do inside of there. As far as landscaping goes... Pads I can't really do much with right there as far as nature is concerned. We can raise, we can lower terrain, we can do all kinds of cool stuff in there as far as terraforming is concerned. But what I want to do is I want to get some Edmontosauruses going. So we're at 80% viability right now with the Edmontosauruses, but they are very expensive. Like, they are not a cheap dinosaur. It's going to cost us a little bit of money to get them going, but sometimes you got to spend money to make money. That's kind of business 101 is that... Expenditures happen, and you got to do what you got to do in order to make that cash. Our research center, we're already doing our research. How is our... So we have two unused power, which means that we probably want to put in another power substation at some point. I'll probably just put one right there. Or... Yeah, I'll probably just put one right here, and then we'll just run the road to it right there. And we'll just have our entire power grid over on this side so it's nice and organized. And we don't have to, like, mess around with things being all over the place. The dig team has returned. we got some fossils over here. We've got a nice thing... Nice work that we on that expedition contract. Hopefully what you brought back doesn't end up as another thorn in our side. I mean, you haven't had a single thorn in your side just yet. And so we got... exceptional security, nothing else here would be possible. That's our mandate. And on Isla Matanceros, you're showing the rest of us how it's done. You're deserving of this reward. Man, I wish my life was that easy. 
you just click a button and a whole bunch of people go off to Canada and you get paid a hundred thousand dollars. Like what a job to have. That's that's money in the bank right there. That's that easy peasy money. That's that lemon squeezy money. Are these guys ready to be released yet? I want to see my new dinosaurs. I gotta see them. Let's get them out here. It looks like we have a lot more visitors right now. I'm not against it. I do think that as far as research goes, we need to research whatever the thing is that lets people look at the dinosaurs so that their dinosaur satisfaction will go up. But other than that, so he's done right here. Release him. Let's have a look at this Edmontosaurus. Oh, yeah. He's got that big old upper lip right there. He's got like that shovel lip, that listric lip. Ooh, breaking out the biology and the geology terms right there. Listric. It means shaped like a shovel. That's all it means. Shaped like a shovel. Cool. All right. Well, there's our first Edmontosaurus. We will also release that one as well so that both of them are all ready to go. So his release is in progress. Incubate and release them. we got to construct an ACU center, and then we've got to research an item from the ACU center. ACU reload speed. What's an ACU center? Didn't I already build one of those? No, I built an expedition center. Okay. I suppose I could live with that. That's a little expensive, but I kind of have the feeling we're going to have to do it anyways. So let's go ahead and throw that guy in there. Oh, yeah, we needed power. Never mind. Yeah, like make that go away for a second. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. Yeah, where's our where's our output at right now? Each building requires an amount of power and increases whenever upgrades are added. Upgrade existing additional power stations to improve overall output. So is that a substation right there? Doesn't look like there's any upgrades we can do on the substation, so I don't think it really matters. As far as this place is concerned, I don't think we have any of that anyways. Improved output would be great. 14% would be pretty good. That would give us like another 6 or 7 power to play with in our research center. Let's see what we've got over here. See what we can play around with. So building upgrades, enclosures, genetic research, medical treatment. Your guests are having a lot of fun. You're doing a sterling job. Yay! We got paid $50,000. Hell yeah! Last, last month we lost $5,000, so that's good. We're up. With power management, we can do improved output. I'm going to strongly suggest we do that. Uh, we have a dinosaur with low health. You must take care of your dinosaurs. Their health is of vital importance. Okay. So we have feeders. They need water. And then dinosaurs with critically low health can be healed by your ranger teams. All right. You know, let's send out the rangers. So we've got the rangers right here. We will add a task. Uh, to medicate a dinosaur. Oh. Apparently my dumbass has to drive the vehicle out here. Okay. I had no idea that this is what they wanted me to do, but, you know. Let's make it happen, Captain. So there's our vehicle access right there. We've got the dart rifle, so which one's the one that's sick? That's Struthia Mimus over there. Did I get him? There we go. Oh, cool. He gets his health back. All right. I don't think that one's looking too good over there either. Oh, shit. He's trying to attack us. Oh, my God. He's on to us. This is actually kind of a unique aspect of the gameplay. I don't know how I feel about it. We got another sick one over there, too. Ranger team. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and I'm going to dart rifle this guy because I have to. Don't move, you little bastard. Oh, I tried to lead him, but I led him too far. I led him astray. There we go. So we've got him taken care of. I can also take photos. How do I take a photo? Do the photos help? Like, what do the photos accomplish? 
I don't know. We got that beautiful scenescape right there. We might as well. Well, it's autistic. Oh, she called my photo autistic. Thanks. I appreciate that, lady. That's super kind of you. Let me see if I can get close enough to get this guy over here. Hold on. All right, take a photo. Oh, cool. You can get paid a little bit of money for each of your photographs. Yeah, let's do it. Can I take multiple photographs? Oh, species repetition policy. Okay. We're not allowed to do repeats, but we can take pictures. Ooh, that one might be a good one right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get them. No, 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 no. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Oh, I needed both of them to be in the same shot, though. It's ruined now. It's ruined. I can widen the frame right there. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now, kiss. Joys of digital, huh? I didn't get paid? That doesn't have multiple dinosaurs in it? It's got like three dinosaurs in it. What are you talking about? There are three dinosaurs in that photo, lady. Y'all are lying. Why are you always lying? I think I see what you're going for. Apparently they don't like that photo. At least this gave me something to do while my research was being worked on though. It's kinda cool. Like I like the I like the little mini games or whatever. That's not a bad photo. I'd take that. Apparently there's a composition bonus that it wants us to have too. That rule of thirds or whatever. Well, apparently there's a species repetition policy. So let's go ahead and take these guys. We're gonna get them up and out of here. We medicated the dinosaurs, so they are nice and healthy. I don't have any of the, I keep expecting that to open faster. I keep expecting it to be ready and then it's not. So let's go ahead and pull out right there. Can I just command these guys to go around, or... I don't know. I didn't know if I could do it like Command and Conquer or whatever, where I could just, like, send them around wherever they want to be sent. We do have upgrades, though, and the power station was the next thing. So we're going to go to our upgrades menu, and we are going to do improved output. There it is. Improved output. So we should have 10 unused power now. The reason we did that is so that we can build our ACU center over on this side. And just kind of get this moving. There we go. Now, we don't have a road that's going to it right now, so it's going to be salty about that. But we can do a little turn off right there. It's not going to be great for turning left, but it's all right for turning right. All right. It's going to be all right. So on this side, I don't think we need more Edmontosaurus. I would say let's work on Triceratops because that's one of my second favorite. Like, I like Stegosaurus, Triceratops, and Ankylosaurus. Those are my jam right there. Those are my main man homie dinosaurs that I kick it with. Those are the dinosaurs that I keep close, you know what I mean? And so, like, some people aren't down with that. Some people kind of hate on that, but not me. Not me. So how much business have we done over here? We've done, like, a little bit. That's not good. I really feel like there's a lot of people going in and out of that place, and I'm a little bit shocked. Shockata. That we're not doing better business, but, meh, oh well. We got new buildings over here, so we've got AC reload speed right there. Improve rifle license, make the... Oh, okay, so we can tranquilize people a little better. We got better accuracy. Helicopter scheduling. A scheduling unit enables one additional task to be assigned to ACU teams at upgraded ACUs. Okay, we also have inventory space for our fossils. That's kind of expensive. I don't know if our success rate, DNA screening, increases viability by 10% at the Hammond Research Labs. I don't really care about the... Uh... Security isn't always clean or easy, but it is always necessary. So look this contract over. All right. We can get additional contracts from the control room. Birthing a miracle. Yeah, I need the 100,000, so... I spent years studying and working with the dinosaurs to understand how they think. They are smarter than we give them credit for. How you treat them determines what they will become. So do we not have... Oh, really? We get the Storm Defense Station. I don't know if that's, like, crazy good or not, but hey. Sounds like a plan to me. 
Uh, we need to research the ACU reload speed one. Okay, I guess I have to do that. I don't really have a choice. But it looked like it was kind of expensive. So ACU reload speed one. That looks like, is it this one? No, it's Ranger reload speed. Okay, cool. There we go. So that's going to take a minute to get done. That was a little expensive, and the, the, it doesn't excite me that we just did that. But hey, what are you going to do? It wants me to incubate another dinosaur, too. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll do a... Edmontosaurus is kind of expensive right now. I'll do a Struthiomimus just to keep things moving. That way we can get our payout. That'll put us back to, that'll put us back to like 1.1 million and we'll be alright. So we don't have any sick dinosaurs right now. It looks like they've got water. I don't know how we feed them because I don't have a feeder anywhere in any of my stuff. And so open the enclosure gate right. otherwise or let the this dinosaur loose to attack guests. Crazy because frankly, it is. But we are going to encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. I don't think this is a good idea. Like, they want me to just let the dinosaurs attack people? I don't think they're gonna. The ACU, or Asset Containment Unit, should be your first port of call to bring down a rampaging dinosaur. So we can select the ACU center and then assign a task to our manually pilot the ACU helicopter to tranquilize a dinosaur. If in manual control and in close proximity, we can switch views and then we can shoot a dinosaur like so. Uh, so we when birth the miracle. Comes up, I'm turning to you first. So with our ACU helicopter over here, we can add a task. Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. You have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor. I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full. Are they going to get him? Y'all better pull in real quick. Y'all better tranquilize him. There you go. Knock that fool out. Now load him on a gurney. Put him back inside that place. We'll be all right. Well, shit. Now what do I do with him? You'll need to call in the offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. So they can be transported anywhere to the park or sold off-site. Select an ACU center using T to access the transport teams and assign a tranquilize... So we got the ACU center. When you select the destination for the transport team, ensure you are sending them to an, a secure enclosure. So he's unconscious over there. Oh, we got a transport team right there. Okay, so take him and put him back inside the enclosure. Oh, shit. He's got like a giant dinosaur gurney made out of like pipes. Behold the power of human plumbing. It can move dinosaurs. Welcome, dinosaur. Hopefully he don't wake up. So many looky-loos, man. Just close off this part of the park, man. Compartmentalize. Like, you've got to have the park divided up into cells if it's going to have dangerous stuff like this so that you can seal one off and open another one up so that you can get people out. And then you have bunker passages like Disneyland has on each section of the park so that people go to the emergency spot. They can move out. But it's being held with, like, machine guns and stuff, so the dinosaurs, if they try to come by, you just blast them real fast, like Dino Crisis style. <laughs> Look at his dumb ass. <laughs> Is it bad that I really, really, really want to lift a dinosaur with a helicopter at some point in my life? <laughs> you have a great facility rating, and it's keeping the guests happy. Well, I'm happy to hear that, because I need money. We are super broke right now. We're like crazy broke, and I'm trying to trying to get paid. So those guys look like they're getting done with their job. As far as our rating goes, how are things looking? So dinosaur visibility is still at zero. Our transport rating, I don't even know what that is. So as far as the dinosaur rating goes, though, we don't really have that much view. We don't really have that many cool dinosaurs, so unfortunately... We're going to have to sort that out. 
We're going to have to sort that out at some point. But for right now, let's just stay moving. So with the research center, can I get new buildings? Like, let's say that I want to get a new building. There's no new buildings available. So we already got the clothing shop. We can get restaurants. We can get visitor centers, innovation centers. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, we completed their mission. Nice. A million dollars? Hell yeah. Okay, that, that put us back on our feet. All right. And that the job finished. True and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. Guess we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first. Us or them. Ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit and for violence. All right. That's cool, whatever. I don't really understand what we're having conversations about right now, but sure, why not? Uh, we've got a storm defense station. Provides protection against weather damage to nearby buildings. That's probably a good thing to have. I'm not going to build one right now because I make poor life choices. Uh, instead, I'm going to focus on a brand new clothing shop. I'll take you to the clothing shop. There are terrain constraints, apparently, right there that make that position not inherently viable. Okay. I suppose I'll put in the t-shirt shop right there, then. I mean, what's the point of all this if we can't sell people dumb shit that they don't need? Uh, we've got guys that need health, so let's go to the ranger station. And we're going to go with the ranger team over here. And we're going to add a task. Uh, apparently all of our dinosaurs are sick, so we need them to go over here and medicate everybody that they can. Ranger station? Alright, so let's take the ranger team, and we are going to add a task. We're going to say medicate Setting this dude. Task. Task received. Oh, you can only do the two tasks. Okay. Well, do them one at a time. It'll be alright. We'll fix them one by one. The reason they're getting sick is because they're herbivores that are too dumb to eat grass. And so I don't think they actually have food in their enclosure, so they're getting sick pretty rapidly. However, it is giving our rangers something to do, so that's a bonus. I mean, normally they'd just be resting around, sitting on their hands, doing nothing. So, in this case, at least they're, they're doing something. You know what I mean? Are they actually going to do what I told them to do? Man, they got in there. These dudes are kind of gung-ho about this shit. I mean, it might be faster if I just do it. Confirming task. Yeah, go get that one, too. Like, you got stuff to do, so make it happen, Captain. Make it happen, Chief. Uh, so we can go with three separate security contracts right now. Or wait, did I click on the wrong thing? I must have clicked on the wrong thing. Hold on. I'm in a menu right now. Sometimes right-click makes the menus go away, and then other times it's escape that makes the menu go away. So it can be kind of hard to figure out sometimes. Medicate that dino. Medicate him so good right now. Medicate that fool. I want that dino to be high AF. Get that dino super high. Y'all are kind of bad at aiming. Like, I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job, but, like, shoot the dinosaur already. Like, nail that fool down. There you go. There you go. That's that good stuff. Uh, we're still going to need some more power, so... I'm thinking maybe another power station's in order. We've also got substations. Which I assume just makes it so that you can build more buildings. I would think. I don't feel like it's obstructed right there, but hey. Oh yeah, connected with a pylon right there. That's cool. Alright, so we needed a little bit more power. What's a power station going to cost me? A half a million dollars. Okay. So there's terrain constraints right there. Let's 
tell you what, it don't seem like there's a lot of viable spots to build buildings a lot of the time. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy about it, but... There's some very specific areas that it definitely do not want your shit to be connected to. That was probably a dumb place for a pylon. I should have gone around the back so that I could still build right there. Eh, we got room. It'll be okay. We got plenty of space right now to expand. We'll be alright. I don't think there's too many things to panic about right now. Once that station's up and running, that should take care of our power issues for the foreseeable future. Let's dive on into our menu over here. So we got ourselves Rhenium, $100,000. I'll take it. We've got Triceratops Genome. Get started on that. And then on the Expedition map, uh, there is no connection because we do not have a power supply right now. So that would be a problem. Get the power station done faster, please. I would appreciate it. It would be very, very nice of you. These guys are all good. I still don't know how to build stuff inside their enclosures, though. Oh, a ground herbivore feeder. Well, there you go. That'll work. Yeah. I guess put one right there. And put one right there. I mean, I don't know if I should put the feeders right next to the gate or not. It seems like an okay plan. So we've got herbivore feeders right there. That means that I can set up the task for the rangers to come back out here and get shit done. Oh, nice. So they should be able to feed themselves? Like, how much do they eat off of this thing each time? Like so feeders us, dispense food every minute. Dinosaurs require different diets. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder in an enclosure. I'm a red meat man myself. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. So it's got 10 in its reserve right now. We've got, actually got a, I wonder if there's like a scheduler. There was, wasn't there? There was like a scheduling module or something like that where I could schedule when they would go out to refill feeders and stuff. I think there was. I'm pretty sure there was. Keep working on Triceratops. We've got to get that DNA up to maximum viability. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World Evolution, anyways. I wanted to call it Jurassic Park, but the game took that from me. I will see you all in the next episode. If you wanted to get the game for yourself and support the developers, you can get it down below. So far, it seems like a reasonably competent colony builder, essentially, or like a SimCity type game. If you guys are enjoying it, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It's the best way to help me out as a content creator. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do everybody.